Hi everyone, I'm Angela Hensel. I work at the Trust and I'm currently on secondment as PPE Champion Lead. I wanted to talk to you today about appropriate donning and doffing of standard level PPE, which is used for patients who you are seeing within two metres in line with current guidance and delivering care. If you are doing any procedures that are aerosol generating, you must wear level three PPE. This is for training purposes and I've removed my surgical mask that we are wearing for sessional use on the premises so that you can see my face and hear me speak. And um, right, so for donning, for putting on, traditionally what we would have is you would put PPE on in order and remove it in order. And the reason that we do that for removing in order is to reduce the risk of cross-contamination. The principle of PPE is to reduce the risk of transmission of infection, which is ever more important during COVID-19 pandemic. So putting on, what we would normally do is for standard PPE, you would be having apron, mask, eye protection and gloves. So I'm going to show you both pieces of eye protection. And again, this is a personal choice for comfort as to which you want to wear, whether that's goggles or whether that's full face visor. Normally, when you would put your PP on, these four items would go on. But under the current guidance, we are saying that all staff on entering the premises will wear a fabric face covering by whichever means of transport they've arrived. So if you're leaving your car or coming on, public transport and on entering the premises at your first opportunity in your work area you are to put on a surgical mask. So this is the type 1 fluid repellent surgical mask. So we're putting on the mask and this is what you would wear throughout. I'll demonstrate as I've done all the equipment. So the reasons for wearing this in line with government guidance is to reduce the risk of spread and that's protection for yourself where we've got anybody coming in potentially within two metres of us or coughing as we know it's droplet is the spread of COVID-19 and also we've got the risk of spread is oral pharyngeal so predominantly nose mouth and the, and the tract the respiratory tract. So we're putting on our surgical mask that we will use throughout our day and that's why it's called sessional. Providing that the mask does not get contaminated, become moist or that you're touching it, then you can wear it continually throughout your shift. If it becomes contaminated, moist, you must remove it wash your hands and replace it and similarly if you are leaving a clinical area such as going for to eat or drink or using the toilet dispose of your mask in appropriate waste disposal such as infectious waste depending on what area that you have and then don a fresh mask when you come back out onto that area so we've got our sessional mask in use the guidance also from Public Health England is that you are to wear eye protection if you come into within two metres delivering care with a patient on a risk assessment. Now at Rotherham Hospital, we have gone with the standard infection control precautions for COVID-19 patients that irrespective of the status of the patient, whether it's known, suspected or not isolated so that is our green amber red areas throughout the trust we are advocating that you wear eye protection for the risk of splash so you will then don at the first patient that you come into two meters of contact you already have your sessional mask in place and you will then don eye protection so eye protection can either be goggles or visor whichever you find comfortable and once you've got those in place whichever one you choose whichever is provided to your area through stores then you can then decide if it's comfortable they can also remain in place as sessional use so you've now got your surgical mask in place and your eye protection in place 
going to deliver care within two metres of a patient, you would then don apron and gloves. If you are doing face-to-face -face assessment with a patient, but you are maintaining your two metres social distancing, you can keep your sessional mask and or eye protection on. Whenever you go in within two metres, actually delivering of care, so in close proximity of a patient, you must don apron and gloves. You'll feel for different types of different suppliers are coming into the hospital at the moment. So you'll feel that you will have a little part within it, either plastic or steel, that sits as the nose protector. So pop that on and loop it over each of your ears. And then make sure that you are covering nose and mouth. So with our sessional eye protection, we've now got cover of our nose and mouth and our eye protection should sit over our mask. For your apron, pre-Covid you would have found that they would have been colour coded for things such as catering staff and nursing staff. At the moment the national supply is whatever colour we are getting so please don't worry about the colour coding currently. So open your apron over your head and tie around the waist. And then lastly is your gloves. Making sure your nails are short, they should not be coming over the top, and you are bare below elbows, so no ringed or stoned jewellery, no wrist bracelets, watches, no long sleeve cardigans or jumpers. So I'm now donned in full standard PPE. Pre-COVID-19, you would remove all of your PPE, that would be doffing, and you would take that off in a particular order. If you are leaving for the session or the end of the day and you need to remove all of your PPE, you will do it in this order. If you are going from patient to patient, you will only need to remove your gloves and apron, wash your hands and put on another, another clean apron and gloves to go to the next patient. Apron and gloves must be changed between each patient contact. You can retain your sessional eye protection and sessional mask. The order in which you would doff, take off your personal protective equipment is in order to reduce the risk of cross-contamination. If I've donned all of my PPE, which order do you think that would contain the most potential contaminants from the care that I have been delivering? That's right, gloves. So to remove gloves would be one, two, and that instantly contains any potential contaminants and reduces that risk of cross-contamination and then dispose of in your clinical waste stream as appropriate to your area. Once I've removed my gloves, the next item would be my apron. Now, lots of staff I see doing this. A lot of staff have the misconception that they should leave their gloves on until the end because they're still protected. But as we've just highlighted, actually what we do in our jobs predominantly is by hands and by touching. So if we've removed our gloves first, we've reduced that risk of cross-contamination. So to remove the apron, remove it at the neck, let it drop, remove at the ties and holding the ties, hold it in on itself and again remembering that you fold it in on itself rather than touching the outside and dispose of it by a 
your appropriate clinical waste stream. If you're continuing now to go from one patient to another, you must perform hand hygiene, either by alcohol hand rub, or by hand washing with soap and water. If I was now removing all of my PPE, the next item I would be removing is my eye protection, and then my surgical mask. So just looping it off the ears, lean it forward rather than leaning back. So if there's any potential contaminants, it actually goes away from the face. And again, dispose of it in the appropriate clinical waste stream and carrying out hand hygiene, either by alcohol hand rub or hand washing with warm soap and water.